People often talk about Warcraft logs and use it as a reference point to determine how well someone does in a raid. I want to make this video to explain how to use logs critically to look at your own performance and add an extra website or two that you can use to analyze your own raid's output. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. We're going to go over this right here. This is our table of contents, our agenda for the video. Uh, we're going to start with a random log. Let's pick Fusion's Raid X from yesterday, four hours ago. Now, the first thing you notice is that there are a bunch of categories. There's the encounters and trash fights. This is the entire raid. There's just the encounters. There's all the kills, all the wipes, all the encounters with the wipes, and just the last pull. And then it separates between each of the bosses and the trash fight themselves. Normally, the first thing I do is go to the, the encounters and trash fights. And this is what it would look like. This is all the damage done for the entire raid for just the kills and the trash. Now we can edit this. We could go to all encounters with all of the wipes and it kind of changes drastically because it takes out all of the trash, but includes all the wipes as well. You can go to just the trash, see who's pumping on the trash, who's kind of AFK. You can look at the activity over here. You can track average eye level. You can track the DPS that people are doing, obviously. You can go to, it looks like they were having some trouble on twins, so you can go to the kill itself, or you can go to all of the wipes and look holistically at the healing done and see, oh, is there somebody lacking in the healing compared to somebody else? Who, what, what are they doing? Are they active? Are they overhealing? What's going on? And that's a good description of what the overall data can do. Now, the next section of our video, we're going to go over the top bar over here. The first thing we're going to have, we're going to be under the encounters and trash fights category, showing everything for the entire raid. And we're going to go through these individually, starting with damage done. Damage done is very basic, very straightforward. All the damage done through the entire raid. You could also take this right here and swap it to enemies. And this is the total damage that the enemies did to the raid for the entire time. You could also pick the source. You could take Brutalis's damage done to the entire raid. You could see that obviously melee is as big as to the tanks and Meteor Slash, which is the thing that we soak on Brutalis. But let's go back to our friendlies for this example. We go, can go to damage taken, see who took the most damage, how much is mitigated, how active it is, the damage taken per second, and you can swap the enemies as well. Look how much damage kill Jaden took back to friendlies. You could also look at the sources of damage taken. Brutalis, these people took the most damage from Brutalis. You could sort it by ability as well. You can look at arcane explosion damage taken for the raid. You can move on to healing. This is all the healing done for the entire raid. You could sort by the friendlies who took the most healing, the ability that they healed with. Moving on to threat. I never really use this tool. I find this threat tool to not be very useful. Uh, there's a second tool that we'll talk about later that I think is superior to this. Moving on to buffs. These are every single buff that your raid had, tracking heroism, the haste on KJ, slice and dice, mojo, mojo madness, using the skull, everything. You can look at everything. You can look at uptime. You can look at how many are used. You look and look at debuffs. The tinnitus debuff from drums, arcane blasts. You can look at the debuffs done to the enemies as well. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Look at the deaths, who died the most for enemies and friendlies. It's taking a little bit to load here. Now, who died to what the most? Wompers died five times, unfortunate. We look at interrupts, who interrupted what, what percent of casts, the count, dispels, who dispelled what, same thing as the interrupts, what percent of casts were dispelled. Sometimes takes a while to load. And then resources as well. Who is getting the most mana, who's getting the most rage, hit points, etc. It's very organized. And then lastly, casts. Cast is the most important tab, in my opinion. I visit this very often. Uh, something I like to check is Sunders. Is who is Sundering as a warrior? Something we like to play about a lot. The armor that mobs have should be reduced uh, as much as possible so the melee can do as much as much damage. And you can see the Agent and Wampers are both pumping out the Sunders here. In addition to Sunder armor, there's a whole variety of buffs you can look at. Something that my raid leader likes to call out a lot is Scorpion Sting because it reduces the chance of a boss to hit. So you can go to the debuffs on the enemies. Sometimes it takes a little while to load. 
and you can scroll down, you can sort alphabetically, go to Scorpid Sting. You can see that on Brutalis, it was up 43% of the time. Is that good? I don't know how it really incorporates into a Hunter's Rotation, but 43% doesn't sound very good to me. That's a lot of damage that the tank could be tanking or result in a tank death. Another thing we like to look at is Demo Shout. Let's look at Demo Shout. This is in very, this is almost perfect Demo Shout uptime on Brutalis. Very great job here. But if you're missing debuffs on the boss, this is the best way to tell what your DPS or casters or tanks are doing besides applying said debuff. Another thing that we can track is items consumed. Maybe you want to see destruction potions for your casters. You can go to the overall trash damage. It would be under cast for friendlies. And you look at the abilities and you go over to destruction, destruction potion. You see that it's pretty high usage in this raid, but Plasmic isn't using as many. Maybe he's using a mana pot instead. We can check restore mana, which is what it's designated under the logs. See, he was using a bunch of mana pots. The others weren't using so much. And so it kind of balances out. Everyone's using their consumes, but you can look at any consume at all. We can look at haste pots as well, just for the purpose of this video. And you can see that the melee are pumping out haste pots all the time here. It's very important. Uh, checking your raids consumes is essential towards any raid success. Another powerful thing you can use in logs is a comparison tool. If there's someone in the raid that you, th you think is doing more damage than you and you don't really know why. So you can go to compare. Let's pick our two mages, for example. Click compare. Uh, let's pick the fight. Let's do Brutalis. Go to damage done. And you can see exactly how many arcane blasts are being cast. The average hit, the crit percent, very easy to digest form. Uh, let's look at buffs. You can see exactly who got the buffs and when, and the uptime for everything, limitless power. They got 0.01% more on limitless power, and then Sith happens. So you can use this tool to compare yourself to anybody in your raid, and you can even use it to compare uh, in other records entire raids. One of the last tools I want to talk about is this handy replay tool. Let's go to Brutalis, my favorite. Go to replay, and you can see exactly the positioning of each and every player. And you can click them and see exactly what they're casting, where people are moving, and what they're doing in real time. Although it's not the easiest to digest, you can pick apart and figure out exactly who you're looking at doing what and you can figure out how to move people in the right way maybe you told people to stand in an exact place and they're not standing there that's not good for the raid now now that we talked about that i want to go into two other tools that people don't typically know about or use but i use these tools on the side the first is uh, ironforge pro has a log analyzer which is really cool oh, let me move my camera for a second it's at the top right of their website. They have the PVP hub, but they also have this really cool log analyzer. And all you have to do is you go to a log, you copy this part right here before, before the number sign. It takes a, a few seconds to update, but this will show you exactly what consumes people are using uh, and how many they are using. And it, perfect. You can see that Mr. Big Baron was using a major agility and a gift of Arthas. He used five of them. Uh, he was using food. He was using his weight weapon. He was using scrolls. And you can go through this and figure out, all right, who's who's slacking? Who's not using demon slaying? Who's not using pots? Who's not using ruins or, or for mages? Whatever. You can even see cooldown usage, making sure people are actually using cooldowns, sappers, trinkets, everything. You can see everything in the raid. This is a very powerful tool to help visualize usage better. Uh, if you don't want to look individually at casts for consumables, but this is a consumable tracker for log analyzing. Primarily, that's what I use it for. And you can look at the abilities and trinkets as well, but I'm mostly for the consumes. The other tool I wanted to talk about is this GitHub where you can look at threat generation and what your tanks are exactly using. All you have to do is take the Warcraft logs ID. Let's just take this one, for example. Copy it. Paste it, fetch it, then you pick which fight, let's pick Brutalis, it's a common one with threat issues, fetch and refresh, and it'll show you the entire duration of the fight, and where the threat is, and who's generating the threat. You can remove individuals, say you don't want these treants, it's a lot of treants. 
You see them disappearing at the bottom. Let's remove some of the top threat producers. Now let's take a look at specifically the tanks. You can see the points that they're taunting off with each other. You can see what abilities they're using in particular. Uh, let's zoom in here. You can see this is exactly when he taunted. You can see that he popped shield slam, that he used a heroic strike. He even got a thorns tick. Received a melee attack. Every red dot's received a melee attack. And this is a good tool to show if your tank is lacking in threat, uh, how they can catch up in threat. Maybe they're not using their abilities in particular. Maybe some other monkey DPS didn't shatter. This will tell you everything you need to know about any threat thing ever. And I will include this, the log analyzer, and where to download Warcraft logs in the description below. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you feel more confident in your ability to analyze your gameplay and others. I want the community to grow stronger as a player base. These tools will drive you and your guild towards performing better once you get used to them. I know there are different ways to play the game, but no one wants to keep progging Brutalis into Wrath launch. Thank you guys for the love and support. Drop a, drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on your personal logs, I would love to help you go through them. You can reach me at my Discord also below. Hope to see you next time. Peace.